fellas, don't drink that coffee. You'd never guess. There was a fish in the percolator. Sorry. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Fish in the Percolator. Uh, this will be our commentary track, obviously, since you're watching it on YouTube. This is Season 2, Episode 10 of Twin Peaks. It's Dispute Between Brothers. I'm one of your hosts, Scott Meany, and with me as always... I'm the other host, Matt Jorney. Hello. Hi. All right, so dispute between brothers. You should be queued up, uh, zero, zero. At this point, I imagine you know what uh, the drill is. Mm-hmm. So ready? We're going to go in three, two, one, play. Looking at a bird. Looking at a smokestack. Yeah. Uh, man, I can't go back to this low resolution, dude. I've been spoiled by that Blu-ray. Well, look, if Mac would just allow there to be a damn uh, uh, Blu-ray codec on the system. Nope, can't do it. In fact, let's banish all discs ever. Pretty much. <laughs> this is really annoying. Like, you told me, like, back in one of the earlier episodes, like, like, wouldn't it, like you should just watch on the Blu-ray. Like, yeah, I would, but we're sitting here at a computer, and my <laughs> computer's a MacBook Pro. See, I forget people aren't all me and have a setup where their TV and computer and laptop and phone are all, you know, in one central location. So, like, a total nerd, you can know, watch TV and play video games and talk on the phone all at the same time without an X-Bone. You never need to stand up. Eventually, you have to crap. I haven't figured out that one yet, but, you know. I think the World of Warcraft poop soccer's figured that out a long time ago. Yeah, but I want it classier than that. Like, I want to actually invent, like, a gaming toilet. You know, you can always just use a Pringles can. I feel like that's, uh... We're starting off great here on this episode. <laughs> Look, we got a minute and a half to kill at the beginning of every episode. Uh, what, are we, what are we going to do? You know, previously on... Uh, it's okay, the muddy waters are fading. Time here. for the show. Ooh, some generally creepy looking imagery to start off. Yeah, we get it. She's dead. Both versions of her. Oh, and so is he now. The question here will be is this the episode where Twin Peaks immediately loses its way? Or does it take like an episode or two before it gets a little wacky? Uh, three days later. Jeez, poor Miss Palmer, man. Yeah, things are going well. <laughs> she also doesn't look like she's acting that manic, Doc. Why are you trying to, you know, dose her? So as I explained to you, there was a demon, uh, you know. Yeah, that's a t- this is. I'm just thinking that, dude. This is going to be a real tough one to explain. Let me explain. Uh, <laughs> Your husband was a great man. Unfortunately, he had a demon in him since he was 12. He is totally guilty, uh, but hear me out. <laughs> but we're going to have to persecute him for it because, well, someone's going to take a fall. That must, really, uh, that must really hurt uh, Bob's feelings to know that that's how he looked just on set that day. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Bob. Oh. <laughs> he looked like a hobo. All right. All right. You know, 12 hours holding the sound mic, yeah. you know, you, you work a, up a sweat. <laughs> he's holding a boom pole. He's just like, I'm standing right here. Oh, that's why she was crawling on the ground. All right. (laughs) 
I don't even want to make jokes over this. This is really sad. I love that this is the only time you've said that over like the course of the show. Well, because usually Leland's dancing and doing something stupid at the end of the sad parts. And I've always felt bad for Mommy Palmer because I always felt she got a bum deal. Oh, she really yeah. did. Yeah. Like, even when I didn't know Leland was the killer, at least he had his dancing and his insanity. You know what I mean? It's like, well, it looks like he's, you know, getting over it okay. Still, he's still got this giant, lonely house to live in now, and... Yes, the scary, scary uh, stairway. That is the grossest shit. Marshmallows do not belong with vegetables. People do it. That's a thing. I, I know it's a thing. It's still gross. Jeez, is it a is it a funeral reception or a fucking Thanksgiving dinner? That's Twin Peaks. <laughs> oh no. I can't tell if uh, we're going for 1950s apparel now or just weird. She's just weird. Remember, she thinks she's a kid. Right. But kid or not, that seems like an inappropriate get up for a funeral. Well, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yes. Twin Peaks, where there's always pastries. <laughs> I'm not sleeping with your wife. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> so it was like Leland, everybody in the house is lawyer right now. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, I don't like Waldorf. <laughs> I think you're right. I think this is the episode, Meanie. What, where it turns? Yeah. Nah. Nah. I don't know. It's it's too I think this is the reaction episode. Okay. Yeah, like it, it's it's awfully wholesome right now. Well, like just... a, like these people like hated each other an episode ago. Well, nobody hated the yeah, Palmers. No. True enough. Fair enough. Meanwhile, the hero kicks his way in. God, I really hope like he saves the day at the end. Jacoby, you, you're still alive? I want you to imagine a buddy cop show starring Major Briggs and Hawk. Oh, my God. No, no, no one show could contain that much awesome. Yeah. It's called 48 Hours 3. <laughs> I also want to comment how well Jacoby's doing five days after his heart attack. Oh, yeah. Well, how about this, by the way? Tony J. <laughs> Here's your explanation. Oh. Love him. Wow. Now, you were absolutely right. Like, I know this isn't season three, but this is the beginning of season three right here. 
all the info dumping and all this, uh, like, oh, well, here's a convenient plot point. Yep. <laughs> so, have you seen Zoolander? Nope. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it, but you know, hey. I love how like nobody's even acknowledging Maddie's death. Well, technically Maddie was a visitor. I know, but it's another death in the family, this specific family. <laughs> Never mind that. Tony J is taking charge. <laughs> That's how old people fight. So Tony J takes it to the streets. <laughs> My wife's still alive, by the way. Why you asking Are me? Are you I'm that guy. old? Yeah. <laughs> Are you senile, Doc? What, like... Hey, you remember when that happened? Uh, Doc, I was born in like 65. Best. <laughs> 60 at the absolute best, but no, I don't recall. <laughs> wow. That, that, that whole scene, man. Yep. Oh, good lord. Jacoby, you're supposed to be a shrink. You really think this is a good idea? Nobody ever said Jacoby was a good shrink. They said he was the only shrink. But he managed to get a doctorate. Like, he's a doctor. There are many places you can get a doctorate that people don't respect. But he's recognized in the U.S. There are many places in the U.S. you can get a Dr. <laughs> Nick from The Simpsons is a prime example of a doctor that's good lord. I am a doctor, technically. Hollywood Medical School. <laughs> oh, good Lord, Coop. But I got a couple of weeks vacation time, so, you know. You can long over me for a little while longer. Yeah, by the way, sorry for arresting your father. Well, he's not that sorry. She implicated him. Ah, fair enough. Is he still in jail, by the way? Yes, he is still in jail because he's in jail for. Uh... Oh no, no, he's probably no. Out. He he's should be out. He was in jail out. for Maddie's death. Yeah, he was in jail for Maddie's death. All the other illegal stuff is not on his head. So yeah, yeah they haven't they haven't pinned anything about the mill yet to him. So yeah, they probably let him go the night Leland died. Okay, I hope so. He's he's definitely out, but gotcha. Like he doesn't go down for any kind of murders. I, I don't know the way the justice runs in this town anymore, man, so, like, you'd never know. It's Batman rules. If Coop thinks you're momentarily guilty, you're guilty forever, you go to jail. <laughs> I 
real reason you're afraid to get connected, huh, Coop? I kind of do. How, why did your partner lose his mind? Live long and prosper. But I already spoke to uh, Mr. Lynch behind the scenes. Uh, it would be creepy yeah. for me to get down with you, so we'll find someone else for you. It's weird. And yeah, thank weird. God McLaughlin was there to actually correct them with that. But hey, you know, whatever. Yeah, like it totally wouldn't have fit. Like that was always the plan, and it was just like, nah, this it doesn't work. It barely fits now trying to pretend she's like 17. She's 18. Like, okay, it still barely fits. Oh, good. Oh, you got an even douchier haircut. <laughs> it's weird no that you're sense. the same size as him. Not really. Now when you think of this lady's uh picking men. See. Well clearly green, Riddler. <laughs> All right, easy with the eyebrows, Bobby. <laughs> Leo's just like copping a look right now. Oh, God, he got even worse somehow. Um, I is mean, this is the slick back douchey haircut? It made him worse somehow. I don't know. You I mean, really? I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying like it's hard to gauge. With the know. more with the moronic '90s child haircut, I could at least say, "Oh, you're a moronic '90s child." Now, well, shit. There you go. Are you dressed like a hobo? Sheriff, you are taking this way too well. You live in this town. Fair enough. I have a perfectly legitimate reason why I fled a crime scene and pretended to be dead for three weeks. I was posing as a Japanese man. Uh, no more questions. That makes total sense. Makes <laughs> Doing sense. some faulty business with a man you had in captivity in this very building. Oh, Kent. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said my men weren't committing crimes. <laughs> Why is she dirty? She's pretending as though she, uh, well, listen.
No, Catherine, I'm a terrible cop and an even mediocre actor, but even I gotta say, this seems a little rehearsed. All right, that's a better story than I thought you'd come up with. There you go. Totally convincing. Yep, well, Sheriff bought it. Close enough to convincing. (laughs) Oh, dick. Well, Dick, since you care so much, you mind convincing my boss that having a pregnant lady do all this, like, ladder work is really dangerous? Yeah, really. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> like, even Hawk walks by, like, whatever. Good Deal luck, with it, Lucy. Luke. Yo, seriously. Yeah, really, really bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to shoot that man. (laughs) I'll just go hit him with a hammer if you want, Andy. (laughs) You know, Andy, I can make him disappear. I need 500 now, 500 when the job's done. (laughs) I love how no one can look each other in the eyes in this scene. It's a really awkward... Awkward relationship it's all the so, way across the board. It's so fucking dumb. Want to stress again, for $200, Lucy and the rest of them could find out in three days who's the daddy. This seems a little weird. I thirst for blood, Andy. Do you understand? (laughs) I don't care about your petty trivances. I have a demon in me, Andy. I have to kill. I don't know why Hawk is talking (laughs) in the Andy voice, but fair enough. (laughs) Oh, yeah, because oh, oh. I... Briggs. Oh, God. The bromance between these two is among my favorite things in the world. Have I it's, mentioned that? It- yeah, you have, and it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. <laughs> Except this is kind of weird. It's not that weird. It wouldn't be this weird if the music wasn't going. Or if Coop wasn't, like, giving him the wide eyes while opening this. Fair, fair point. It's a tree. That's your symbol, a tree. Well, thanks. You know, as a federal officer, I am not allowed to accept any sort of, like, club or vigilante efforts, but thank you. 
He already went and was involved in deaths involved with the Bookhouse Boys. I think he's already I, okay with accepting the patch. I know. That's the sad part. You really want to be tied in with these guys there, Coop? What the hell? He's leaving. God damn it, you're awesome, Hawk. Andy, yeah. good day. And your stupidity. <laughs> good luck with the baby, Andy. Andy, I can sense from the odor that you farted. It's always <laughs> a pleasure. I'll talk to you later. Lucy, for God's sake, stay off ladders until the baby's born. Holy shit, Clarence Williams III is here. Why is there a Mountie? You'll find out. Well, we did kill a man. We had Hawk bury him, so. So it shouldn't be a problem. Also, by the way, the Mounties, I'm pretty sure, are not the highest of authority in Canadian law. Like, they do have normal police, and they do have their own version of their FBI. I think the Mounties are kind of like badass cops up there, though, aren't they? Aren't they? Like They're FBI bad people? ass as far as like you know survival and like real like tough hombres go, but I don't know if they're the. Uh... No, I think they're like the equivalent of FBI. Are they really? Yeah. Okay, well, if that is true, I That's stand the, corrected. Uh, the Mounties, we always back. we always get our man type of thing. Okay, yeah, I I didn't know that they were like that equivalent of like federal level, but. My daddy's a millionaire. Why do I care? Yeah, they're both the Federal and National Police Force of Canada. Okay, well, I stand corrected. There should be a Mountie there. A, B, three, <laughs> guys. I thought he was going to drop it. I really did for a minute. thought he was going to drop it. Come on, drop it. Bobby, just don't be an asshole for three seconds. Is it possible? That's not. He can't not be apprehensible. Like, at no point in his life can he cease being a douche. God. <laughs> I hate Right in front of his daughter. Class act, Bobby. But I'm sure it's asshole duties, knowing <laughs> you're involved with it. Oh, uh, Audrey, no. Don't. No. Kind of. Oh, no. Really? Kind of. Oh, not really, but kind of. Okay.
Seriously, Coop, why'd you do it? <laughs> Will that car case also be held at the bar? We'll hold it at the bar. <laughs> as is your custom. <laughs> I mean, it is only fair. I think, I, you know, I wish like court cases and shit actually had a bar. What was that weird symbol? I want to know yeah. about it right now. Yeah, real slick, Sheriff. Yeah, what the fuck is this vigilante group you got? <laughs> that brings up another question. <laughs> so, so there's no repercussion for local law enforcement sneaking across the border? That's great. I killed three more when Coop wasn't looking. Oh. <laughs> I'm the one who hid the third body. Oh, Sheriff's wearing his big boy pants today. His big Ghostbuster boy. <laughs> his, his, his big boy onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he wear that? That's not like what a sheriff should wear. Two weeks ago. <laughs> so this was definitely the episode after a mid-season break, right? I don't know if they used to do mid-season breaks, but I have no idea. They always did, because they always start in the fall, and then Christmas time happened, and nothing new ever got premiered. Well, there you go. Sure. Because they are info-dumping like crazy in this one. Yeah, this is basically season three. That's what I was saying. I'm, I'm guessing this is where this, you know, the second half of the season began. Like, literally, there was a break between them. I wonder if they fired Roger Podactia from being... Uh... The principal of the school. Yeah. <laughs> I also love that Roger Predactor doesn't have a real name. It's just his Ace Ventura character. <laughs> and all the kids are in on this and are totally cool. Wow. That totally wasn't a double. That was some weird slowdown there. Yeah, it was weird. It's getting even weirder. I like how she whistled in 30 frames, but he was in slow motion. Yep. We are now post the Laura Palmer murder. Just comes to life. Surprise! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, all twenty dollars. <laughs> I 
Why aren't you screaming like you did the last time he moved? You're the food critic. Yeah, me neither. I don't know, that one hillbilly seems to think the pie is goddamn good. No, no, you're totally justified, lady. Anything you're underreacting. Yeah, seriously, you're holding yourself together pretty damn well. Your mom's a total bitch. I married a murderer. Remember that. Me too. All right. <laughs> They're both plotting to steal all your money. No, seriously there, Mom? How did you think she was going to react? <sighs> you know, the FBI's got this place under surveillance, apparently, guys. Why are they, like, manhandling each other? Well, he's basically beating him up. It's like, it's... Have you? <laughs> and I'm mean tight lipped about it too.
That is Mount Me Hat. So I'm going to guess this is all going to become a giant conspiracy to just basically send Ben Horn up the river. Uh, nah, more just coke dealing. Uh, or in that case, marshmallows. <laughs> Yo, did uh, Hank just gets a taste? Why not? Because they plan on selling it? Uh, give him a taste, you know? And it's coming from the dealer? It's not being sold to these guys? Why not? Because that'll get you shot. That's why. <laughs> I don't know, Jacques. Why the vendetta against Coop? Hey, well, they'll probably put him in jail. America's yeah, not, America's not big on crucifixions these days, but you got it. Yeah, oh, and you're just... being metaphorical. Okay. And just one bag of it isn't going to really be enough to convict him of actually stealing all your coke. But whatever. The scene's lasting a couple seconds longer than it needs to. There we go. Josie, is it you? It's totally Josie. I don't know. It's gotta be. Well, whoever it is gets pistol whipped immediately. He finds out later. Yeah, that's not how the gun works. Hit her again. Oh, ow. I wish I hadn't been brandishing Damn, Josie, weapon. what the hell? We live in suburbia. Why'd you go through the woods? Yo, Sheriff, seriously, man. Oh, you're Maybe, so, uh... You're so injured and weak to my advances. All right, Sheriff, not the Seriously! Time. Not the time. Yo, Sheriff, maybe an ambulance is in order. Just saying. All right, I'm going to take my own life. Oh. Okay. Are you asking... What about Bob? <laughs> yeah, that's the ghost fella y'all let me in on, isn't he? Well, And this man works for the Air Force. This guy is fantastic. <laughs> Have you, Major? Uh, wait, Bob's on the move. I agree with him on that one. You better not be dead when he gets back, or I'm going to be pissed. If the major dies, I might quit the show. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Oh, man. Shit. It's the aliens. They're back. 
Ah, uh, does the major become the new Bob? Right, I heard something about those once. Not what it seems, Coop. <laughs> Bob is totally watching Coop take a piss. They they found me, Cooper. It was aliens. Twin uh, P. No. Not the not the major. All right. That wraps up another episode. No, it doesn't. That's no. It. It's all over. <laughs> They're all stone dead now. Damn it. Anyway. Fucking owls. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, you can catch us on purefiller.com or on iTunes or wherever you can get Android podcasts uh, in Fish in the Percolator for our upcoming discussion. Uh, I've been Scott Meany. I've been Matt Shorney. All right. Talk to you soon. Later.